So yours day is done, and boy, what a game he pitched. Eight innings of shutout ball, nine strikeouts, walking two, letting up five hits on 111 pitches. Wow, an absolute gem from there. And coming in to pitch for the save is number 37, Matthew Fazio, a sophomore from Staten Island. Fazio, a righty. And coming up for the Roadrunners, De La Cruz, Macadali, and Paolo Castro. Macadali being pinch hit for by Scott Shields, actually. So Scott Shields 14, Rafael De La Cruz. is on deck instead of Macadali. Um, so if they tie the game, you assume that Rinsky will probably go back behind the plate. And here is De La Cruz, first pitch. Check swing, umpire says he went. Surprised he's not even checking. To me, it didn't look like he went, but count is 0-1 to De La Cruz. The 0-1, fastball way high, and the count's 1-1. Lord Runner Dugout trying to urge De La Cruz to be a good lead outfitter. And the 1-1. Oh. Down in the dirt for ball two. And counts two and one. Bottom of the ninth. Bearcats up 2 nothing. Last chance here for the Round Road Roadrunners. And the 2-1. Swung on and off his foot. Umpire does not rule it a foul ball. And they say he's out. Bit of a confusion here. Rich Martin not happy with the call. And this is the rest of the dugout. Didn't see if the ball went off of De La Cruz's foot, but he didn't even run down the first baseline. He's, in fact, still in the batter's box. Well, he's in the circle, I should say. And Rich Martin's out to argue. But for now, there is indeed one away. How do you miss that? And for now, De La Cruz is out with a 6-3, and he's limping off of the field. So no one too happy with the call except for the Bearcats. So, despite a ball that went off of his foot, the umpires miss it, and De La Cruz grounds into a 6-3 for the first out, and that sends out the pinch hitter, Scott Shields. So, McAdamie went one for three today, not bad. Single in the second, struck out looking at a 5-3, and now Scott Shields up at the plate. Shields batting 278 on the year. No play still. Scott Pesciani comes on to pinch hit. Now batting number 10, Scott Shields. For what would be Burger. Remember, D'Angelo's pinch hit for Walsh. D'Angelo is not a first baseman. Berger is. So Berger would have taken D'Angelo's spot in the lineup because Berger played first. And now Pesciani will pinch hit for D'Angelo and or Berger. First pitch is low in the dirt for ball one. Oh, excuse me, Scott Pesciani not pinch hitting for Walsh. I think he's pinch hitting for Bobby Shannon. 2-0 is called for a strike. Hold on, I got a little bit of a confusion here on my score sheet. 2-1 is called for a strike. Here we go. Now I'm getting things figured out. Cosmo Iaco Bellas is on deck right now for Rich Polly Castro, number 20. And the 2 2. 
Base hit to left field through the hole between third and short, and Shields is aboard. So Rich Polly Castle's day is on the team with 0 for 3 with his strikeout. Cazzo Iaco Pellis, a junior from Morgan, who has a jersey, pinch hit for him. Scott Pesciano, who pinch hit for Bobby Shaka, is given the chance. Yako Bell's batting 111. He's one for nine on the year. This is his 11th of the year. Yeah, batting number 20, Kyle Alcabellis. So Shields on first. And the first pitch to Yako Bellis is in the dirt for a ball as Pesciani is on deck to pinch hit for Bobby Shannon. Here's the 1 0, and it's at the knees. They call it a strike, and the count moves to 1 and 1. Chris Martin, not too happy with the home plate umpire, as it's driving through for a base hit down the right field line. Going on to third is Shields. Bianco Bellis rounds first for a double. And the Roadrunners have met on first and second with Scott Pesciani coming up to the dish with one away. Jose Torres out to argue. I don't know what he's arguing about. Maybe interference. The ball went right through Yulino's feet. Should have been out. But nonetheless, Scott Pesciani up at the dish. Men on first, and, excuse me, second and third with one away. Nice piece of hitting for the pinch hitting Cosmo Uaco Bellis. Scott, Scott Shields moves over to third. Yeah, Pesciani Scott Pesciani. up at the plate. So Fazio working into trouble. As the first pitch is down in the dirt for ball one. And Pesciani faces a 1 0 count. Pesciani batting 257 on the year. The pitch. High fastball on the count moves to 2 0. Corners playing up, middle infield back. Fazio throwing gas out there, but he's not throwing strikes right now. The 2-0. Oh. Down in the dirt, and the count moves to 3 and 0. Oh. Roadrunner dug out alive and well. And the 3-0. Oh. Down the pipe for a strike, and the count moves to 3 and 1. Fazio comes set and the 3 1. Ripped into left field. Base hit! Shields will score. Holding at third is Iaco Bellis. And the World Owners get their first one of the day, but it's most certainly not too late. World Owners down 2 to 1 on Pesciani's RBI single, and that sends up Matt Summers with runners on the corners. Torres comes out to the mound and the inch of the meet up at the pitcher. So Iago Bellis after his double, his pinch hit double, he's on third. Pesciani with an RBI single, he's on first. And Matt Chemis, who singled his last time up, once four on the day. A base hit will tie this game at two. Right now, the scoreboard leads in the bottom of the ninth. Two, five, three for the Bearcats. One, eight, two for the Roadrunners. And the Roadrunners are rallying. Number eight, Matt Chemis. Runners on the corners, Matt Chemnitz on at the plate. First pitch, break ball called for a strike. 
And the 0-1. Breaking ball, cut on this strike, two. And the count moves to 0-2. Oh so Chemis faces an 0-2. And the pitch, high fastball laid off. And the count moves to 1-2. and two. As Austin Unglob is on deck. 2-1, to one, bottom of the ninth. Runners on the corners with Chemis up at the plate. And the 1 2. High left for the ball. And the count moves to 2 and 2. The pitch from Fazio. Fastball. Through the hole for a base hit. The runners tie the game back 2. Matt Chemis with the game time RBI single. And the Red Rovers have met on first and second, and the game is tied. An RBI single through the hole on the left side of the field gives the Red Rovers a 2-2 tie. Iaco Bellis scores, Pesciani moves over to second. Boston Unglob at the plate, and Joe Venturino, who's a very dangerous hitter on deck. Joe Venturino already with a walk-off home run earlier in the season. But for now, it's Unglob up at the dish. Unglob off for two today, a walk in the first, a strikeout in the third. Fazio blows the save. One grab a sack, bunt in the sixth, and flew out to right field. Oh, yeah, that is Oh, isn't baseball great, folks? 2-2, two, two, bottom of the ninth. No one had been scored since the top of the second. World runs are down 2 nothing for about the seven and a half innings. Now the game is tied at two. First pitch to Unglob is a breaking ball that doesn't break, and the count is 1-0. No from Fazio. Fab off of Unglaub's shin. The count moves to one and one. The one one. Line caught by Olino at first for the second out. Throws it over to second to try to get out at second, but the plays the ball goes into the outfield. And now Venturino is up for a chance to hit the walk off for the second time this year. A nice play by Olino saving the game for the Bearcats, and Joe Venturino is aboard. Venturino, two for four today, two singles, a line out to left, and the six for the Venturino. Joe Venturino, walk off home run against Penn State Burks on, on March 29th. Let's see if he can get another walk off, and he's in the batter's box. I'm telling you, he looks like an energizer bunny right now. The pitch to Venturino, taking for a ball on the outside corner, and the count is to one and up. Burger on deck. And the pitch. Breaking ball high in the count of moves in Venturino's favor. 2 and 0. Oh. Venturino needs to be smart here. I can tell he's very excited, but he has to wait for his pitch, especially on a 2 0. -oh. So Pesciani on second, Chemis on first. Venturino with the plate, the pitch. Breaking ball. Left outside. And it's 3-0. Just missed the corner. So 3-0, two outs, 2-2 two -two game here in the bottom of the ninth. Fazio comes set and deals. Taken all the way for a strike, and the count was to 3-1.
Fazio comes set. And the 3 1. Inside, Venturino walks. And now the winning run is 90 feet away. So, Braden Berger, a good chance to win the game. His first at bat, first plate appearance, I should say, on the deck. Now batting number 24, Brandon Berger. So, bases loaded for Berger. Pesciani on third, Chemis at second, Venturino on first. First pitch is a breaking ball right down the middle, taken for a strike. Roadrunner is ready to charge at whoever scores the pitch. Check swing, did he go? Umpire says he did, and he counts 0 and 2. It's all in two. Fazio deals. Inside and low for ball one. The count was to one and two. Here's the one, two. Oh, breaking ball just missed. Fazio not a fan of the call. And Deuce is all wild on the scoreboard. Two and two. And two out. Base is loaded, two to two score here in the bottom of the nine. Don't put scoring two here in the last inning after being down two nothing. The pitch. Uh, got some break, and the count is four. No way to put him a walk. will win the game for the Roadrunners. So the three two, here is the game right here. The pitch. Scores on the walk-off walk. Game over. Roadrunners win the game three to two. Unbelievable. No one scored for about seven and a half innings. It was two nothing since the top of the second. Please join me in congratulating Coach Martin on this coaching milestone. Rich Martin setting a milestone. Congratulations, Coach. If you thought the inning was killed after the blown call with De La Cruz found the ball off of his ankle, but nope, Scott Shields single. Cosmo Iacobelis double. Pesciani single. Chemis single. Unglob lined out. Venturino walked. And Brandon Berger, the walk off walk. And the Roadrunners win the game 3 to 2. Unbelievable. You gotta love this sport. I, I advise the leadership on And a great, uh, absolutely great day for your at the mound. But the blown save by Fazio. That's ridiculous. I showed up just in time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in to Ramapo College Baseball here on WRPR 90.3. FM. Make sure you tune into the Ryan Morris show tomorrow night at six o'clock. You can unplug the. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Roadrunners win the game three to two. Enjoy the rest of your day, and see you next time.